ECDL Advanced Excel Lesson 67 Lookup Functions The lookup functions are used to look up relevant data from a table to use in a calculation. There are two functions, HLOOKUP, which searches a horizontal table, and VLOOKUP, which searches a vertical table. A lookup table consists of a selection of bands or intervals within which a given value can be found. Let's open the workbook Discount. The worksheet consists of a discount calculation at the top and two lookup tables at the bottom. One a horizontal lookup table and one a vertical lookup table both containing the same data. The discount to be used in D8 depends directly on the number of items bought. So for example, if a minimum of one item has been purchased, the discount will be 0%. For two, three and four items, it'll still be 0%. But as soon as we get to five units, at that point, for the range 5 to 9 items, the discount will be 10%. For 10 to 19 items, 15%, etc. To look up the discount from the horizontal table using the HLOOKUP function, click on cell D8, select the Formula tab, and then in the Function Library group, select Lookup and Reference. Alternatively, what we could do is to click the Insert function in the Function Library group, or in the Formula bar, and then proceed to the Insert function dialog box, as used in previous versions of Excel, to select functions. Back to where we were, Formulas, Lookup and Reference, H Lookup. Now, the lookup value is going to be cell D4. We're looking for the data that is in cell D4. The table array is C14 to I15. That's the table without the labels. And the row index is 2. This will then return the value from the second row of the table. If we were to set range lookup to false, this will cause the function to return a value only if there is an exact match between the lookup value and the table entry. As far as we're concerned for this example, leave it blank. Then click OK. The value returned is 10%, corresponding to selling between 5 and 9 of the items. If we change the number bought in D4 from 5 to 23, the discount percent will change to 25% because the number bought is in the range 20 to 29 and so does the discount price. OK, let's delete the contents of cell D8. We're now going to use the VLOOKUP function on the vertical table. This function is very similar to HLOOKUP except the base data is stored in columns rather than rows. So, formulas, lookup and reference, and this time we're going for VLOOKUP. The lookup value again is D4. The table array this time is B19 to C25. Again, that's the table without the labels. And col index num is going to be 2. 
again to return the value from the second column of the table. Click OK to complete the function. Now, if we change the number bought in D4 to 52, the discount percent changes to 45%, and the discount price is now £2,057. OK, let's close the workbook without saving, and I look forward to seeing you next time in Lesson 68 when we're going to be discussing mathematical functions. OK, I look forward to seeing you then.